In this video, I'm gonna share with you how you can give an employee or a contractor or just anybody uh, equity that actually makes it favorable to you as the founder of the business. So a lot of times people would just give away equity and what would happen is, let's say you have an entire business and this is the whole value of the company, right? And you would say, hey, uh, Joe, or hey, Stephanie, I love what you're doing and I would love your help in helping me grow my business and I'm gonna give equity to you. So let's say that you'll give 20% equity away for your business to have this person, Joe or Stephanie, help you run and grow the company. But then what happens is Joe and Stephanie, maybe they didn't work out or something went wrong or uh, it puts you as a founder at a little bit more risk, um, especially early on. So what happens is now they have 20% equity here. You started with 100, you gave 20% away. What they're going to have to do is they're gonna actually have to pay taxes on either purchasing the value that they just received and if there's a sale that they'll have to pay taxes on all of that. And it just makes things very murky with what it is that you can do as the business owner because technically they own the business now. One thing that I'm gonna share with you is how we give away equity in our business that makes it better for us and also better for the person receiving equity is something like this. You have 100% of the business you own and you keep that. And let's say Joe and Stephanie, they came to you and said, hey, we want to work for you and uh, run this business with you as a partner. You could say, okay, but here's what I want to do. I'm going to give you something called a phantom equity agreement. This actually sits on top of the existing business. You own 100% of the company still, and they will own 20% at a future date. So there's two things that you need to think of here, is one, how much you're going to give and in what time frame. So they don't have to have 20% from the get-go. What they can have is maybe 5% in year one, 5% in year two, 5% in year three, and another 5% in year four to get a total of 20% equity. So they need to have what's called vested interest, vested equity that vests over time. So getting that 20%, they'll get the 20% only if they stick around for four years. They'll get 5% a year. What's also interesting about this is say you as the business owner want to need to pay taxes or just want to take money out of the, the business or have a distribution to you as the business owner, they technically don't have the rights to either vote, unless it's in there, uh, to distributions, uh, to taxes, all of that stuff because you technically own 100% of the business. They only receive the 20% upon a liquidation event. What is a liquidation event? Well, you, that's either a sale, you sell the company, it's the sale of the business, or you have an outside investor that invests in the company and you take some money off the table, well, they'll be able to take some money off the table too. And let's say you sell the business in three years. Well, Joe and Stephanie, in three years, they'll only be able to get 15% of, of what's been uh, uh, vested so far. Or if you wanna be a nice uh, business owner, you can say at a liquidation event, you get the t total 20%. So if we sell in two years, the total 20% is yours, but if we sell, if we don't sell, you're, you still only have 10%. Um, so this is how we structure giving away, uh, giving away equity in our business to employees, to C-level uh, hires. Uh, this is the way that we do this. Now, here's also another thing that, uh, that you can do uh, that I've done in the past is we had a business idea and we said, oh, 
you know what, we would love to launch this business, but my business is currently taking up all 100% of my uh, time and attention. What I'll do is I'll start an LLC uh, and I'll put a little bit of cash into that company and into a, a checking account. And then what I'll do is I'll issue uh, a phantom equity agreement to the now the CEO who runs this business. I still own it 100%. They are putting in the sweat equity to grow this company and they only get the equity after a certain amount of time or certain milestones are hit. So this is really good if you have some great ideas, have some capital sitting around, and you also know a hungry person who's willing to put in the work to help grow and bring that idea to life for you. So think about a uh, phantom equity agreement the next time you're going to give uh, equity away in your business. Thanks. Oh wait, actually, uh, before I just let you run off, like this video, comment, uh, and share it with someone that you think would benefit from it. That would be really beneficial. Thanks.